time on Custom Works, we're going to be making some big teeth for a custom grill. I'm going to be making custom headlight mounts, and guess what? There's going to be cutware involved. This is Custom Works, let's get to the workshop. Actually, I'm already in the workshop, but you know what I mean. Okay, so today I've been working on the grill um, of what I'm going to call, because it's probably going to end up as a catering wagon, the meat wagon. Yes, the meat wagon. It's a new project. So what I've done here, um, I've opened it out, so it's more like a 50-51 style Ford F1, rather than having the grill and the step bit. I've also squared the bottom of the grill off, and what I'm attempting to do here is emulate, you know, like a Buick or Cadillac sort of front bumper on this. So I've got these two, um, these are actually Model A headlight bezels. I actually only had one. I made a fiberglass mould quite a long time ago and that one's fiberglass, that one's steel. So down here there's the number plate recess um, which has just been bonded on at the minute so I've packed it off with this chisel and this hammer and then this bit which is on I think Cadillacs. Uh, at the moment though all of this right from that's the bumper of the taxi all the way forward is just made from die bond. These bits are the, that's the fiberglass of the truck front we've made, but all of this is just in die bond. Now, I've mentioned die bond before, and it's this stuff that's in a piece of aluminium, another piece of aluminium, and plastic in the middle. It's really strong, you can bend it quite nice, you can get really nice curves in die bond. Um, it's relatively cheap, and um, it's, just, it's just a great thing to use. And what I stick that together with is Mitre Fix. Um, you know, where you put the super glue on, bit of the spray. I've used it loads of times on this channel. And then um, things stick together. So that's how I've made all of this. It's quite boxy. But what I will be doing is going over everything here in a couple of layers of fiberglass. Because this makes a shape really quickly. But, well, you know, this is going to blow off as you go down the road. So it's not very strong. But what I'll do, I'll cover all of this in fiberglass. Then I'll fill it sand it, high build prime it, flat it down, and then would you believe why it's on the car, all the trim on this, we're gonna chrome right here in the workshop to a mirror finish. So that'll be coming up in a, a, an episode in a few weeks time, a fair few weeks time, so we've gotta build the whole car. But yeah, all of this is gonna be chrome, and we're gonna make teeth for the grill, so that'll have a big tooth grill, headlights will be here, the front of this truck is going to be absolutely awesome. Okay, and so uh, last night, what I did, I, I fiberglassed all of this together. So this is now, this is now <coughs> super strong. And, uh, you know, this is good enough to be a bumper now. Whereas before, like I say, you can just super glue bits of... Um, die bomb together forever, but you know, it will just fall to bits if you don't fiberglass over it. So just use that as your form up, fiberglass over it, all looking good. What I'm gonna to do today, I'm gonna to make some teeth for this grill. So I want a big toothy grill. So headlight there, headlight there, and some massive teeth to go in there. A little bit like on the, um, on the 5152 F1. So yeah, 5152 had these massive teeth, but I want bigger, badder and more teeth than that. So I'm not trying to copy that, I'm just trying to go for a big custom tooth grill. So let's make one of the teeth. Okay then, so we're going to make a tooth. So I'm going to start out with this piece again, die bond. I've just got a lot of die bond at the minute. Um, I'm going to pop that in there now. You know, I don't have to go all the way back. So I'm probably going to bring, I'm going to bring the uh, the mesh back that holds it there. So what I'm going to be thinking about here is how I want the tooth to look. So I want the tooth to stick out a little bit proud of the actual aperture, so you know it looks a bit meaner. So I'm probably, if the pen works, here we go. I don't need to go too deep either because that's where the mesh for the actual grill will be. So what I'm probably going to do is come like this. I want to be about there, nice big front to it, and then I want to come down to there. So that, in essence, is going to be the shape of the tooth. 
something, oh look, that's better if it comes out to sort of like a point and then back. Oh yeah, this is looking good. Okay then, so we're in the spray booth now, and uh, our tooth, whatever it's called, tooth grill, yeah I suppose it is, a tooth isn't it? Here it is, got a nice sort of shape to it, um, looking pretty good and it's pretty smooth. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to paint this in some uh, nice shiny 2K, and then uh, that's it, tomorrow we'll be able to wax it and take a mould off of it. Looking pretty good. The tooth for the grill. Um, I sanded and sanded and sanded it, like really sanded it. With this, I didn't use a high build primer. I went over it with Dolphin Glaze, 
and then I just 320 it down using a 320 paper and then um, I just primed it with some rattle cam primer and then I 2 k it and here it is the tooth or oh, Bluetooth <laughs> uh, um, but yeah looks pretty good you know when this is actually chromed and stuff it'll look great but I need more than one so what I'm going to do I'm going to take a mould off this fiberglass mould and then we're going to mould five of these and drop them in the grill so then there it is actually um, in the grill, it will sit something like that, we'll mount it back to a piece of mesh, we'll finish this in a chrome from home kind of finish and uh, yeah that is going to look great. Headlight there, one, two, three, five of them with this big spike bumper, it's going to look absolutely awesome. This is the meat wagon. So from that blue tooth that I made for the grill, it's going to be one of the teeth in the grill, um, we took this mould. Now, all we did with the tooth, we waxed it, we sprayed the blue release agent over it, gel coated it and then made this, uh, this mould. It's a two piece mould and when it opens up, it's all nice and shiny inside and this is what's making the, uh, the teeth for the grill. So we've got to make five of those teeth for the grill, it's going to be an awesome grill. Uh, so we're going to have to make five. So out of the mould, they come out and look like this. Pretty much like that tooth when it was blue before. In fact, exactly like that because it's a mould off of it. What we do, clean all this up, then we'll paint them all in a chrome effect paint. And this is going to look so cool. It's going to look the meanest meat wagon in the world. Now... What we're doing with this truck is we're going to have the front looking like, what is it, the other one we did was like 48, 49, so this would be like 50, 51 in the, uh, in the F100s. And that's where they've got the more toothy grill and the headlights are sort of within the, the grill opening. They are on the other one, but this is, you know, they're, they're more outwards. It's not like they sit in the grill, they sit out the grill like, you know, like they stick out. So what we need to do is we need to get the headlight so it sticks out. I'll just get a headlight. So here's a headlight. Um, so on the truck, it doesn't sit in there. You won't see it from there. It actually sits about just here. And you can see part of that sort of bezel that holds the light sticking out a little bit. Um, so we need to make that bezel. Let's get back to the bezel. So then we need to mount this on a bezel that sort of follows the line of this trim, comes out a bit and back to about there, and that mounts it in. So what are we going to use? <laughs> so what are we going to use, as always? Oh yeah, it's cookware, it's a mixing bowl. This mixing bowl, just here, from here to here, comes down to the, just, it's just the perfect piece. Bezel that actually holds a headlight, is a lot like that, it's very much got this profile to it. But this is a bowl and um, yeah, it don't fit in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the top of this bowl off and then we'll see how that fits. We, um, we need to mount that on there. You know, I've not just done this and got really lucky that um, I've got it. I had marked it before. Um, so I need to now fit that onto there. So what I'm gonna do, is I have a piece of, it's just my favorite thing. I've gotta say as well, you know, cutting this was really hard. I don't know, you know, I buy a lot of saucepans. This one is particularly good quality stainless steel. Some of the stainless steel you go on cutware is unreal. Anyway, so my favourite material, which is um, dye bond. Got this piece of dye bond. I'm going to put that on there, and then I'm going to mark on the inside. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to just cut that out of the jigsaw. So and obviously we don't need the circle, we need a hole inside the circle. So if I just mark that off, and I probably want that, you know, 15, 20 mil around. 
So I'll set my hand to accurately mark that. There we go. And now we're going to cut the centre down. Okay, so I've got this hoop over the headlights, but always on headlights are these two, well on this sort of mini headlight, you've always got these um, two bits that stick out. So we've just got to mark those out to where they are. two holes but I will cut those holes more once it's bonded into there because um, I'm going to end up cutting all the meat out and then I won't have a circle I'll just have like this bit and then another bit and that's not a circle. So now we've got to bond this hoop into this butchered mixing bowl. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rough this up with the angle grinder. So now for the bowl it needs to go on there. Now, the inside of this bowl is super shiny, so nothing's ever going to stick. So what we need to do is rough up the inside of the bowl, so I'll stick through that. So that's all roughed up in there, that goes on there, on this nice flat piece of board. Now I'm going to attach that, seems like a little bit crazy, but I'm going to attach it with just Bondo car filler. I'm going to smear a bit round and then probably put a bit more round afterwards just to really bulk it out. Because those two faces are well keyed and there's good surface area in there, that'll bond that in. You know, it's only holding a headlight in it. So. Uh Got to fill up all the way around there, and when that's dry in about 15 minutes, that will bond great. Okay, so I don't know if you noticed there, but I just put a load of filler on with my bare hands, and after I'd done that, I thought I ought to put gloves on before I do that, but then I'd already done it. To get filler off your hands, I always used to buy the uh, you know, those wipes that are really expensive from screw fix and stuff, I used to buy those, but Multi-purpose cleaning wipes that are really cheap from like the supermarket are amazing and they take filler straight off your hands. So my top tip for slightly cleaner hands is always have some of them around and uh, yeah, they take the filler straight off. Okay, so once that filler's dry and you've sanded it down, made it all look nice, it will look like this. And this is all ready, this is nice and strong. And it'll be good to drill in to fix the uh, fix the pocket for the light in. So it's got those positioning brackets so the light is the right way up. And you've got all your adjustment there and everything. And that sticks just proud of the grill. Okay then moving to the front of the truck. It's looking pretty rough but I think you can really see the shape coming. All this that I made in dye bond, I've now um, I've fiberglassed over and it is really, really strong. I've started to fill that, but you know, there's more fiberglassing going on here, holding in the, um, the backboard that holds on the headlight. This is all marine ply and it'll all be fiberglassed over, so that's all good. Um, this still needs a little bit more fiberglass from the back to hold it in. Now this is all dry, that's in and super strong. And then I've, uh, I've bonded this to the wood and screwed it on just while it dries. So now we have the, uh, we have almost like, a, you know, the factory mounting for a headlight. So then if we, um, if we get a headlight and it's got these, you know, these sort of positioning pegs that we've, we cut the slots in for, that fits in there. And there it is, the headlight mounted in the grill and this bit looks you know pretty much like the actual truck looks um, looks really good and then the teeth will go between here and we've got this uh, aperture there for the air to go in to cool the engine 
So that's it for this week. Join us next time on Custom Works where there's going to be loads more meat wagon madness. And also, don't forget, click the bell icon to get regular updates. Click the subscribe button. And uh, what's the other one? Oh, yeah, like and comment down below. Until next week, good night. Hey.